So, you've got a new 3DS and you want to upgrade the SD card from that little tiny 4GB card to a larger one. Nintendo says you can use up to 32GB, but people have been able to successfully get 64GB working and I'll show you how to do that. If 128GB works, please let me know in the comments. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice is that there is no slot on here for an SD card. Oh my goodness. So let's go ahead and start. You start by turning off the power on the unit. Make sure it is powered off and not simply sleeping. And we'll go ahead and shut down. The light should turn off. Now you will need a Phillips head zero millimeter jeweler screwdriver. Something like this. And then there are two screws that you simply need to loosen. You don't need to unscrew these all the way. You just need to loosen them and then you need to lift up the flap. Nintendo says that you can use the curve of the rear of the stylus to go ahead and pry it open. On the side of the unit, there's a little tiny little slot here that this can insert in so you can pull from that little tiny slot and it will actually lift up. And there's another one on the other side. So you can go ahead and lift that up. Once you lift up the flap, you have the battery on the left which is swappable if you do need to swap that out. And then you have the micro SD slot in the center in that little orb thing. So you can go ahead and just slide out the micro SD slot. There you go. And then you will need a reader to go ahead and copy on the contents from here. Okay, we've inserted the micro SD card from the 3DS into the card reader. I'm showing you how to do this in OS X because there's lots of other videos that explain how to do this in Windows. Um, by default, this will show up on your desktop. If you don't have that enabled, you can click the Finder icon, and then you can usually choose the device from the left side of the screen, or you can click Go, and then choose Computer, and then you'll see it in the computer. Now, this is the important part. You don't want to mess with any of this file scheme right here. You don't want to rename any of these files, and you don't want to mess with any of the information on here. If you do, then you will not be able to use this on the new SD card. So go ahead and drag all this information somewhere where you can find it easily, like to your desktop, and then it's going to go ahead and copy everything to your computer. Now that you have your um, files copied to your desktop, you need to insert in your larger SD card. If this is a 32 gigabyte card, then you just need to go ahead and format it as in fat format and then the 3DS will read it. If it's a larger card, you need to actually force it to go ahead and be in fat format. Otherwise, the 3DS will not read it. By default, larger cards should be formatted in the new EX fat format, which supports like larger file sizes and is more efficient and optimized for the larger SD cards. So, we need to go ahead and open an application called Disk Utility. You can click the Go menu and then go to Utilities and then Disk Utility is in there. You can also spotlight search for Disk Utility and it will show up. Now let's go ahead and click on the card and you need to choose Erase. By default it's going to be the EXFAT format. So you need to change it from that to MS-DOS FAT, click Erase, and then click Erase. You need to open the newly formatted card, then you need to drag the old files to the new card. Do not change any of the file names or any of the file structure or else this will not work correctly. Once it's done, we're going to go ahead and put the larger card inside our game. Okay, so now we've got our 64 gigabyte card. It has been formatted and we've put all our content on it. We're going to go ahead and simply slide it into the slot press it down and it will spring down. It's a spring-loaded mechanism, so when you press it, it'll spring up, press it again, it will spring down. Before you seal everything up, go ahead and test it to make sure that it works. That way you don't make extra work for yourself. We're gonna go ahead and open it up real quick. We're gonna hit the uh, power button and turn it on. System is booting right now. It's checking the new card, making sure everything's okay and it looks like everything has transferred to the new card and it's reading it okay. Let's go ahead and go to settings and actually verify 
that the extra storage is there. Um, so we can go into data management. We want to use the 3DS data manager instead of the DSiWare. And let's go ahead and look at uh, software. All right, so it looks like we have 485,762 open blocks um, in Nintendo Land. 8,192 blocks, I believe, is one gigabyte. So if we take 485,762 divided by 8,192, that should be uh, 59.297, which is about 64 gigabytes. There's going to be, of course, a little bit reserved for the file structure on that SD card, and that's why you're not going to see the full 64 gigabytes, but we're seeing about 59, 60 gigabytes right now. So you should all be set. Have fun, good luck, and thanks for watching.